Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. This one is a Lenovo ThinkPad E15 Gen 2. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or upgrade the RAM that you have in this uh, model. I made a really short video how you can check the RAM capacity of the laptop. I'll leave that link in the video description so you can see what's the maximum capacity because we came across many brands that you go to the manual, you go to the website, you call customer service and you ask them, well, oh, what's the maximum capacity? What, what the condition or SST even? They will give you some bogus number. They're like, no, maximum 16 gig, maximum 8 gig or 512 gig SST you can have maximum. And it's just nonsense. It's a PCI Express Lane Gen 3. And they, they only tell you that 500 gigabyte you can put in there. That's not so you can go up to four terabyte, 16 terabyte with no problem. So anyway, so don't listen to those uh, customer service because they do not have uh, any idea, any clue what the hell they're saying. In this video, I'm gonna take you on a step how you can open it up and remove or replace the RAM. All right, first thing first, you wanna power it off completely. Do not put on any hibernation or anything like that. Flip it upside down and you're gonna remove the bottom power, you need a screwdriver. You can grab a Phillips number one or grab the iFix screwdriver set and grab the Phillips number one and you need an opening tool. If you get a pro set of this tool set, they will give you an opening tool, but if you're not like me, go grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Right, down here we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws on the bottom all around and one right in there, it's, it's sneaky. Uh, I almost tried to open it without not seeing this one. So you want to loosen up all the screws. All the screws, they have a little C-lock on the other end of side of the cover that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. And the C-lock is good because it will help you to separate the palm rest and the bottom cover. So let me open this one a little bit. So you guys are going to see, as soon as I op uh, loosen up the screw, you're going to see a separation right in here. That's what the C-lock does. It makes their life a little bit easier for some people. So I'm going to on the screw it and you're going to see that gap that it opened and keep rotating a few more turns and then let go now i see that tiny gap right there i even can do it with my fingers right there so let's close it down and we're going to loosen up all the rest of the screw just rotate until you hear some click and do a few more hundred turns and that's it just only stay there for five hours turning the screw all right uh, also if you guys like this video if you like my video if you want to support the channel you can do that by clicking like and subscribe I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that all the screws are loosened up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick the guitar pick from the corner that we first opened it, and we're just gonna twist it, twist it. I'm putting it, I'm twisting it backward like this. Do this on the front, on the side too. Go all the way to the HDMI port. You want to scoop it by two millimeters and scoop it outward like this. I don't know if it's focusing. Focus, there you go. So scoop it like that, so that way you don't damage the port. Do the left and the right. And oh, this one is already out. Huh. All right. So now there's a, if you try to lift up and you're like, oh, but it's not coming, it's stuck to something. Don't worry about it. There's a tiny hook in there that grabs it from somewhere on the board on the battery I believe. So what you want to do, you want to put your finger on the on the cover and hold the palm rest and just do like a one or two yank in the middle and you're going to hit that snap. That's the hook that got snapped. And then now work it around and you see and then the rest will come out. The hook is right over here. There's the tiny hook. I don't know if you can see it in the video but it's black. It goes, it grabs it right on the edge of this battery right there. All right, and right away we can see the RAM is right in here and the battery right in here. You can go inside the BIOS and disconnect the battery inside the BIOS, but I do not recommend you to do that. You could do it, but disconnecting the battery from the BIOS, it just cuts the circuit half of it. But if you want to be paranoid, you can disconnect the battery by pulling this gaffer tape backward, slide it back, and the battery will get disconnected. But if you feel like you're flimsy and you're going to drop the screwdriver on top, you're going to lift up the cover and you just dump it on the motherboard, sure, go ahead and disconnect the battery. But if you don't really need to disconnect the battery, 
if you're really cautious. To put it back in, just align it straight evenly going inside. If you put the battery jack sideways in, you can create a short and damage the motherboard. So I will leave it in. As long as you power off the laptop, you're fine. So I'm gonna remove one tiny screw right over here. Now we're gonna grab this power and we're gonna lift it upward towards the ceiling. There's a tiny hooks in here. It grabs them from the sides of here. You can see one, two, three, four, four hooks. So two on the sides and two in here. There's no hooks there. Now we can put it to one side. And down here we can see single dim. There's no two dim uh, ram in here, single dim. To remove it, you wanna put your fingers on the side of the triggers and pull them away from each other. And the ram will come out in 45 degree angle right here. It will just it comes up a little bit like that. And all you wanna do, you don't wanna yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise it's not gonna come, you're gonna damage the dim. You wanna slide it towards the CPU in 45 degree angle. This one is a 16 gig DDR4-3200. You can grab a, I would say, a 32 gig stick, and you can put it in here. There is no onboard RAM, so there is a 16 gig in here. There's 16 gig you have, you have to remove this one, and upgrade it to a 32 gig. So we have upgraded these laptops to a 32 gig DIMM with no problem. If you check in the video link description, maximum RAM capacity, it will tell you probably 64 gig. But as making of this video, I haven't seen any uh, DDR4-3264 stick. If there is one, uh, sure, go ahead and buy it, put it in here. I don't know why somebody wants a 64 gig on these models, but you can get a 32 gig. Make sure the notch on the, on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. So if I put it the other way around, this way, it will not simply go through because they, they are not aligning. So I'll grab it like this, bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connected jack, and simply push it towards the motherboard and you're gonna see these triggers are flexible, so they're gonna open and close. They just open and snap back into place. Once you got that one in there, bring this one over, make sure as long as you align two of these clips and just push it down and it just snap to its place. Put the single screw that, I don't know why they have it, but put the screw right there. Make sure you connect the battery if you have disconnected it. Put the cover back on and tighten up the screws and it will pull the cover back to itself. If you see any gaps opening, you just wanna pinch it out, pinch it and it will snap back in the middle. There you go, the clip in the middle. Also, and remember once you power on, it might take five to 10 or even 15 seconds for the motherboard to do a MEM check, so don't panic, just give it a chance. It might do one or twice blinking, turning off and on without giving anything on the screen, so don't panic, just let it do a MEM check and you should get into the windows with no problem after a few seconds. All right, again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And snap, snap, there we go. And that covers up today's video.